warning, um, while this video will be entertaining and in the end be educational, do not take any technical advice until you have watched from the beginning to the end. Because if you pull something from the middle and you go tell your friend, you're going to be wrong too. Hey guys, welcome back. We are about to kick off Sick Week, which is our first Dragon Drive of the year. So we're currently at Bradenton right now, testing the 55. So as you guys know, last year was a little bit rough. We had some transmission issues, a lot of transmission issues. We had that fixed by Drag Week, but we have a new transmission in the car now, so Dad can have his back. Um, we've gone through and just looked at everything that we can data wise trying to figure out a couple issues and we think we have some solutions we'll know this week um, i just went down spooled the car checked it it's the happiest it's been out of the trailer maybe ever like it's very crisp and clean i have a good feeling about it so um, i actually just flew in yesterday i was in california everybody mom dad nick meg drove the truck and trailer down uh, to Florida and I flew to LA and did a quick Christmas movie shoot. I had like two sentences, two words, I can't even call it sentences, two words in a Christmas movie yesterday um, and then flew in this morning, got the rental car, went and showered and we're about to make a pass. So it's Thursday, sick week, doesn't start until Sunday with tech in so we got a little bit of time but ready to get a pass under my belt because I got that pre-season jitter I haven't raced card in a little while. So I'm ready to get going. I'm gonna go, I'll go out there and show you the potential card now today. Okay, I'm gonna go out I'm gonna give Megan an update for Alex's YouTube channel and then I'm gonna give an update while I'm giving an update for my channel. I love the multitasking. Multitasking at its finest. Two channels, same thing. Alex has her new tune in it. She school tested it. It's basically the same of everything, just a little different tune and hopefully all the issues fixed. And she's getting strapped in, strapped in. she doesn't know whether she's going to make a full pass or not. I guess it depends on how, how it feels. And then basically this whole pass is just a toss up. <laughs> the first pass of the year, you never know how it's going to go, but I have high hopes. You're the They're only nervous. one that intends to. They're nervous, I have high hopes. I'm excited. <laughs> Those are nice belts. Yeah. They're just smooth. They tighten a lot. Yeah, that belt, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember what direction I had to think about? It's a grab. Alright, you can go ahead and put my wind down that up. It just is fat. It's still yeah. it's burning my eyes and throat there. But she knew that too. She knew going in it was going to be on the fat side. So I think we're good. 737, 178. Yes.
about that for a lick one. It left good, built boost, bumped good. Um, I saw some things spray in in the left side. I think it was just fuel, but it caused me to lift a little bit at the top end. Um, so definitely got to check that out. And then, yeah, I mean, I, for out of the gate, day one, maybe me and the 55 are going to be friends this year. Last year, we had to, we had to fight each other a little. If it's hurt, I'm gonna quit. I thought maybe if you were being recorded, it would have changed. I'm done. If it's hurt, I'm done. She's either gonna work on it, fix it, or we're done. There's something that's sprayed out of here, which is why. Okay, what was the engine temp? Oh, good question. Um, I don't know. I I wasn't looking. That though, there's something else. That's methanol. It was overfilled right. and it come out of that vent, which is not good. I knew I overfilled it, but I didn't think about it doing that. I need to watch that. Once I mean it was oh, fat it at the top. Of it. Okay. it was fat, but I mean that was what a 738? Yeah, and you let out early, right? Oh yeah. Way early. Way early. It needs a lot more on the hit. It was only a 124, 60 foot. But it, like it bogged. Out of the gate though. I mean, yeah, it like it like bogged. And then once the boost came in, it was crisp. Yeah. No, it felt it good. Fast. And it spooled and bumped so well. It like, did, yeah. All that was good. I'm happy. I think we need to turn the launch RPM up. I did a recap in the car. Oh. Good job. Yeah, I'm on top of stuff. I think if you can clean it up, it'll do. It's not that slobbering fat. Well, the A4 brand is Would you like to give an update, sir? What's that? Update. Just pulling plugs to make sure everything looks okay because it's all a new tune and everything. And the first plug on this side looks like getting some heat like it should. The other side looked like it wasn't getting any heat and it was fat. So she's got to review the data and try to figure out why it would be different from side to side. But I only pulled one plug. So I'm getting ready to do the others. So guys, um, I did not grow chest hair. Um, I just, uh, I in an effort to be more professional or whatever, I guess you guys don't want to listen to wind noise. Um, I got these little mics, and so that's what we're using here. So we may not have this perfected yet, but bear with us, we're working on it. And I'm also working on figuring out a way to do it where it doesn't look like I have chest hair. However, that is beside the point. So we are packing we, I am packing shoots for past two. Dad pulled all the plugs just so we could check them and look at them. Nick and I went over data. I talked to Ben Strader from EFI University just to make sure I had my mind on the right path. Um, and then Steve looked at our plugs just to confirm what we were thinking. So what we did is I'm working on getting the individual cylinders a little bit closer. So one and seven look like they needed fuel. Um, I have two O2 sensors, one on the left, one on the right. Odd number cylinders are left, even number are right. So since I added, needed to add quite a bit to the left because um, it was reading leaner, therefore the ECU was comping 10% fuel, so it was adding a lot of fuel. Um, so once I get those cylinders corrected, it won't be lean on that side. <laughs> It'll get stuff matched closer. Long story short, I am working on individual cylinders before making big swings elsewhere leaned it out by like a tenth of a point, so 3.5 at the top from 3.4. Worked on a couple cylinders, like individual timing, just add a degree or pull a degree on a couple of them. We figured out that I had a launch retard still active, so turned that off, which will make a big difference, which is why it bogged on the line the first time. And then it also did, what else did we do? Oh, raise the launch RPM, so it'll be a little bit harder launch. So while we're working on getting the upper end of the track closer like cylinder to cylinder we're going to work on the 60 foot because it's happy down there so uh, work on decreasing that et um but anyways yeah so it sounds like we made like 10 different changes which is you shouldn't do but it's not that we actually did anyways 
It's almost time for pass two, but I feel really good about that first one. Huh? You already checked the tire pressure, right? Tire pressure set. I'll check it when we get over there or before we roll back. that it did last year, shutting off. Uh, so we're switching ECUs. Like maybe it's something that you see. I've rebuilt the cartoon from complete scratch so that way like nothing could carry over from last year. Like switch pretty much everything at this point. So it's gonna change ECUs. And it didn't log last pass. So I don't even have any data. We're gonna go put the exact same tune in a different ECU and test that. Goosebumps. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> What's your update? She said it felt great. Everything felt good. We said up top it kind of felt a little wishy washy, so she let in and out. And then she said it completely filled the puke tanks. So she's down there waiting. And she's talking to him. That could have been why it was wishy because it filled the puke tanks and then <sighs> hopefully everything's okay. So I felt good. 
good about that pass. What I don't feel good about is the transmission. It is boiling fluid. All right, so now we gotta go back, check it out, cause I'm a little concerned about the transmission. But I felt good about the pass. I think the ECU may have fixed it. I can't wait to see the data on that. Full. It could have been over full, but I don't think so. It's, I checked it before she left, and I, or not before that pass, but before the other, and it seemed a little under full to me. But it didn't have any place to go. Yeah, and there was nothing in the overflow before she made a pass was there. I didn't see anything in there. That first pass, it put nothing in there. I have a feeling we're gonna be pulling a transmission. How does that make you feel? Like I wanna quit. I mean, there's no, you just can't win. That'll be number four transmission here today, if, if it's bad. Hopefully it just puked. Yeah. Oh, you know what? The temperatures may be high because the cooler's not getting any air. Right. It was 175 degrees. Our first pass by best getting heat, so... I bet you it overheated. Yeah. Never thought about that. That cooler's getting zero air But if flow. she's not smelling it, hopefully it didn't burn anything yet. It's just yeah. getting hot and puking it out. didn't burn that up, but blocking that, that cooler just sitting there getting hot. I really don't think it's burned up. Like, it's still, like, look at the fluid. It's a little dark, but I wouldn't be scared of it. it. It's a little burnt smelling, but the, it drove back with an out issue. Like, and that's pretty dark. The shifts, though, felt totally fine. I just want to see the data sound like it was breaking up did it going down track i no it didn't it, it felt it's just a top end you were just kind of in and out of it that's because something. it was like a little skatey and i was like lift and then i was like don't get back in if that was dumb stay out of it i could have stayed in it but i haven't race car in a little while it left so clean it felt good there's some oil right here i'm going to be so frustrated if it's what if it's the ecu i'm going to be so frustrated so happy, but so frustrated because we could have done this a long time ago. Never turned off on the after I did my. It didn't drop enough RPM from the two three that the shift light didn't turn off. Probably because it, it's hot, so it's probably. It just, made me really nervous. Yeah, we probably burned much. Well, it might just be if the fluid's a lot thinner because it's hot. We need a cord. Here was 220, 225, never dropped the entire pass. Third gear pressure was that on? Yeah. And it trans, surely isn't trans temp at the top of the pass was 182. Oh. It wasn't it wasn't well, hot until I got down. That's good news, but it it may be that it's I just hope it's not slipping. I don't know how it could slip with that much pressure when he's out of. So on the first shift shift it dropped 800 RPM. Oh that's a lot. But if you look here, so like the shift light came back on and I shifted again and at like 7,900 and then it never really dropped below that. So like the third gear light was on for like this, you know, that second where it should shift again. So like one, two, 
one, first gear light comes on, shift to second, and then almost immediately, third gear came on, like the time shift to third, and then it never turned off. Yeah, I hope it's not smoking the clutches. It might just be... Because see, so look at this data real quick. So see right here, first gear, come up, shift, drop, come up to right there, shift, light stays on, because it didn't see enough drop to drop, like to turn the light off. So on, 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 I lifted because it made me nervous because I'm like, I'm getting ready to hit the rev limiter is what I thought. So I lifted right here and then I got back in and light was still on. So then I lifted again and kind of just like cut it on the- But that could be just that converter. We put more power to it than we've ever put to it. So it may have just been driving through it, so to speak, on the top end. But I mean, it, it never dropped after the second shift. It like, did drop. The RPM dropped. The light just didn't come on. It didn't turn. Go it, off, I mean. It didn't drop a lot. It drops. What, 7,900 to 74? I mean, I guess that's 500. That's 500. Yeah, it looks like a lot to me. That's about what it should drop. Can you set the parameters in the yeah. light? Yeah, I can do that. I think that's what it is. I think you're just throwing power and it's on the big end making steam so and just gonna, push through. Will I? will I hit it off the rev limiter though at that rate like am i getting too high in rpm because like that means that i'm gonna go through the trap at like um almost eight thousand. i don't think so we had quite a bit happen on that one so one the transmission overheated um because the cooler was blocked off so dad created this block off plate to put behind the grill in an attempt to make the car a little bit more aerodynamic so that way air is not going in through the grill and pushing up like ballooning the hood you know like a big um like a balloon like making it where it's lifting the car but that makes it where there's no airflow <laughs> to the cooler which yeah. made it get hot and made the transmission fluid boil don't think we actually hurt the transmission um there's no signs of it other than the fact that the transmission fluid was boiling so we'll see about that um we also had good oil pressure at the start of the pass, but it would drop. Dad can talk to you more about that. Um, we were running less oil than we normally do, so he's gonna let him talk about that. And then Nick and I looked at the data. I'm changing the, like everything's starting to look happier as far as like the fuel table, the timing, the plugs. So I'm going to I change it back to like averaging the O2 sensors. Um, so taking left and right bank average, um, there's arguments for and against, but that's what I'm going to try. Finch Trader also suggested it, so I'm going to try that. Um, and then we're going to work on the 60 foot. So rather than increasing boost out the back end, still going to watch the fuel table, spark table and everything like that, and then just um, try to work on our 60 foot. So we're going to leave harder, change the shifts a little bit, and add more boost to the launch. So higher RPM, more boost. This is what I do. When I say it's work, everybody says, you're having fun. Look, that's my fun. And it's still got that much on there. I'm still filthy. Dirty, but I just cleaned up real quick. Yeah, dirty hands wins. <laughs> Winner! I just washed mine. <laughs> Glad you guys watch Hot Rock Garage. You guys are obviously fans. Uh, uh, more like critics. What are we talking about? Oil pressure. I don't know what to talk about, honestly. It doesn't have any. Is that a bad thing? Lack it starts out with good oil pressure. So it starts out with good oil pressure, but it goes away down track, which it's never done that. It's always been good. But I think I was probably just too low. I'm trying to lower the oil pressure. It's got an accumulator on it, I think, by the time it oh, fills lower the, the accumulator, lower, that lower the oil level. Yeah, not the pressure. So I think we're probably sucking it dry, and we just added more oil. We'll see if it works this time. I hope it does. I don't want to have to put bearings on a motor or go home. I don't want to have to work on it. I don't want to work on a transmission or torque converter either. I look like this. So I think we got it fixed. Oh, that's your guy's deal. Hey, there's a rainbow! Oh, yeah, look at the rainbow. Yeah, let's oh. strap in until we get over there.
take a bunch of pictures, it'll basically get the same thing. You can tell by the facial expressions. I want a good pass so we can go to the motel happy instead of grumpy. Exactly. That was the most glass half full I've heard out of him today. We want happy, not grumpy. Take it. I got goosebumps again. <laughs> Give me an update. I'm kind of happy with that. What was it? 60 foot? 120. Okay, so it's... it's it, everything was an it's improvement. Still, it's still just... It basically did the same thing as last time. It stuck it and bulked it. Yeah, oh, it's, it needs some more yeah, power. it needs more power. But that's an improvement. Yep. So we're almost back to where we were at the end of drag week. Yep. And it should be better because it's... Uh, it's better weather. Yeah, better weather. But it sounded good. We'll see. The story will be when she comes back. If she's smiling, then we're good. If she's frowning, then That's we're bad. So, so it may have puked oil. It may not have oil pressure. It may have puked rods. We never. Like you know how it's idling low, but now that I have it open, I can see where the oil is coming from. 
So I can try to grab it back. It's going to smoke because it's on the turbos, you know? But yeah, the thing is, if it's hurt, it's hurt, and there's nothing we can do, so. No, just come back. All right. I just didn't know where it was. I just didn't know where it was coming when I called you. So I'll, I'll drive it back. We're just gonna have her okay, bye. All right, bye. Okay, so I just found out that was a 717, which isn't terrible. Um, not what I had hoped for, but there is oil out of the breather on both sides of the head. So I don't know why I act like I'm talking to my phone and not. That's good. Uh, so, I don't know if something's hurt, it could be, it felt like a good pass, but we'll see. So, it's going to smoke on the way back. I'm going to look like a nerd, but that's okay. That's okay. Get the, the fan on the transmission. What was that 60? 120. Man, it didn't even, it's not making it up in the 60 at all, no matter. I mean, that's a little faster, but. It just wants more power. Oh, dude. Going back together, we're almost done. Just finishing up a few things. Done. Put the pan on. Put the fluid back in the transmission. What we did was change the the stator in the torque converter. Just made a slight change. It's the same stator going back in that it's had all the time. Same stator that my Nova had. We just loosened it up a little bit. We thought that's what it wanted, but it doesn't. So it's just a typical dilated torque. Thing, one step on the stator made a huge difference that it just didn't like. So it's not a big deal. It kind of sucks having to do it at night, but we're going to get it finished and put back together. Tomorrow we'll test again, but it's just going to tighten it up. What was happening is there's just not enough RPM drop, and the shift light would never go out. It was really running high RPM down track just because it was basically blowing through the converter. So we're tightening the converter back up. That'll lower our, our RPMs. When you make a shift, you'll actually see the drop in RPM, which is what it needs to do. So I just tried something basically that didn't work, but you never know till you try. So we're about to wrap it up. Cool. What are you doing? Washing pans. Doing the dishes. Trying to clean up our mess. Okay, look at that. Check that out. Out here in the parking lot. We work best in parking lots. Yeah, we don't need this fancy bench in there. Who's, what kind of, why do we need a fancy shop? We work best in parking lots. I have no idea what I walked into. Your turn to clean up. How many times have we built transmissions in one day? Hello, I am Alex Taylor reporting live and in the pits of Camp Taylor. Um, 
I got tired of my chest hair, so I decided to go with a microphone option instead. It's currently forecasted that we had a little bit of transmission fluid mixed with a little bit of uh, engine oil over to the left in the pits. Um, right now, currently putting some fresh transmission fluid in as the converter uh, came out, we decided to go ahead and put some nice fresh fluid in since it's a brand new transmission, it's kind of breaking in. So, anyways, uh, no transmission issues, just uh, no converter issues either, just simply making a stator change. We're going from a 1655 back to a 1752. So the 1752 is what has been in the car for literally its entire life. We just tried the 1655 and the data supports and shows that that was not the proper choice as we had a much looser converter and it was basically just blowing through as they like to call it, <laughs> kind of like the storms. Anyways, um, that wraps it up. We're getting ready to put the belly pans back on, clean up this disaster of a pit that we have here because let me tell you, it's a mess. Um, we'll check back in with Dennis on uh, channel five at the Taylor Pits shortly. This is Alex and I'm out. In park. Is it in park? that we're referring to a 1655 as a looser stator, which in normal stator land and converter land, that's actually opposite. Um, but for Pro Torque, and I am not the black magic guru of converters, I'm learning all of this, but Pro Torque, it's actually, that those numbers are in reference to the angle of the fence. Um, Pro Torque just measures it opposite, not incorrect, they measure it opposite of what maybe your standard number would be um, so I did not mistake that it is looser the 17 or the 1655 is looser than the 1752 take my word for it or call Pro Tour actually don't call Pro Tour take their word for it just order a converter from them and they're doing all right I'm I'm we're done we're done for the day um, I think it was a really good day I'd like to go over data real quick Let's I was actually supposed to just be closing, but... I wanted to show you guys numbers so you can see. It's so methanol in here. Real quick. This is from the last pass, so this is just for reference. So since it's a 400, you can't see like you would with a 4L80 um, where first, second, and third is. So this yellow, we have a third gear pressure sensor. So that's what you're seeing here. So right here, you can see it's on the chip, on the chip, bam, drops. So right here is first gear, top of first, drop. This is second gear third gear. So as you can see, this was only a 7, 7, 7, 19 run, and two-thirds of the run are spent in third gear. So not normal for the car. Um, this is really high RPM for what, what it is. It's 7,700. This car is not really happy there. The, the power band is, you know, almost a thousand RPM less. And since we put that different stator in, uh, we believe that's what's causing it, where you're not getting the shift drops. Like the first one, two shift is a decent drop in RPM, but the two, three really isn't that good. So, uh, I mean, it's hardly any drop at all. And then it just hangs it out there. So it's just literally pumping it dry uh, oil, oil wise. So it's still a wet sump. So I um, went ahead and changed the stator. This wasn't helping us. 
at all. Like it's not like we're putting it at that higher RPM or anything's helping us. Um, it's actually making it not perform because it's not in its band where it's wanting to make power. So um, that's what we did with the stator change. I feel pretty good where we got to like fuel and timing wise today. Like I started with a fresh map and everything just to start fresh this year. Um, I feel good about it. I feel good about that. So going to, you're starting to load everything up. Call it a day. I am going on like two days here. I got up at 4.30 two days ago in California <laughs> to shoot, which is what I told you guys when we started. Red eye in, tested all day. So I think I'm ready to call it a day. I know they're ready to call it a day. I feel like we really learned a lot today. I feel pretty good about where the car sits. And uh, I think tomorrow we're going to see some low numbers and uh, I think we'll be pretty happy with it. So that is a wrap for testing day one. Don't know if you guys want to see daily vids. You may, you may not. I don't know if I'm going to do them. Depends on if you guys like them or not. Uh, but if you've watched this long. Do you know where the trailer keys are? I have to go find trailer keys. Uh, therefore, as always, be happy, go fast, and stay pretty. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.